Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Have you already tried Duo Brush feature in Clip Studio? It's very useful for creating effect for your art. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create hot stream or smoke effect with Duo Brush and animate it frame by frame. You can apply this technique on other effects that create with Duo Brush too. The concept of Duo Brush is to combine two brushes together. To do this, we must register the second brush to the preset first. Select the brush, and on the Tool Property panel, click on Show sub -tool Detail icon. In Brush Shape sub panel, click on Add to Preset icon. Then select the main brush we are gonna use. The sub -tool detail will change by the tool we click. Click on the second brush shape tab, then check on the dual brush. You will see the brush we register in the preset, select it, and click apply to brush shape. You may not be able to see the second brush feature on the brush, it depends on the combine mode. You can also change the property of the second brush separately from the main brush. Here, I adjust the brush opacity to make it look like the brush I prefer. Adjust the brush size of the second brush. When you are happy with the size in the preview, you can link it to the primary brush. Then it will go together when you change the brush size. The brush color of dual brush will be changed together when you pick new color. You can check on the apply RGB value to blend the color of second brush together with the first brush, like layer burning mode. For more information about mode and full example, check dual brush tutorial from Crypt Studio official. The link is in the video description. The mode for RGB value will show only on the brush. If you want it to blend with the background, you must set the layer blending mode. If you want the dual brush to have different color, you can set on the color jitter menu and adjust the ratio of sub color. There is also some ready to use dual brush in the four brush set, such as watercolor splash. Paint over your drawing or linear burn layer will create very easy traditional texture. This is my favorite dual brush, glitter. You can make the glitter sing very easy now. Drawing hot steam is easy. It has sharp edge and transparent in the middle. Use G pen as main brush for the sharp edge. Then use the pencil as second brush. Change the mode to subtract. You will get the brush that has transparent in the middle. Adjust the second brush size and link it to the main brush. In second brush tip, you can set more density to make it more transparent. When finished, duplicate the brush by clicking on duplicate icon on sub 2 brush panel. And the brush is ready to use. You can use soft eraser to make it fade away. Don't forget to reset your G Pen brush back to its default setting. Click on the reset button on the Tool Property panel. Let's make it move. Create a new canvas with the same size of your drawing. 
Then import your drawing on the canvas. Go to Import, Create File Object, and select your drawing file. This will avoid accidentally touching on the image when we put the animation effect. Create a new vector layer and draw the smoke with gray tone color. Go to Correct Line Sub 2. If you point on the line with Control Point 2, you can see there are many control points. We must simplify this. Use the Simplify Vector Line Sub 2. Check on Process with Whole Line and paint it on the line. You can see the control points is fewer. If it is too few, it will be harder to adjust. You can add more control points with control point 2 in add mode. Adjust the steam size with adjust line width 2. Use the mode scale up width. And make sure the process whole line option is unchecked. Now, you can adjust the thickness on each control point separately. Move the steam to the image. And we are ready to animate. The simple movement for the steam is like a waveform. There is some point that move and some that stay on the axis. If moving the point horizontally, it will create a simple movement for the steam like this. I will use this movement as the reference for animating. Create a new timeline. I will work on 24 frames with a frame rate 8 frames per second. This is compatible for Clip Studio Pro version. Create a new animation folder. Rename the vector layer we prepare to 01 and put it in the animation folder. Make it show on the canvas by right click and select the layer. Create the animation keyframe for the steam at the middle of the timeline. Copy the steam layer and rename it to the frame number it will appear to avoid confusion. Assign it to the timeline and adjust the position of the curve to opposite side with control point 2. The steam will move to this shape and move back to its starting shape in loop. Set the last keyframe to the first keyframe to use as a reference for the end keyframe. Repeat the step and create in between keyframe. Enable the onion skin and adjust the control point into the middle position of previous and next keyframe. I use the gray color because onion skin will not change the color if I use white color and it will be harder to adjust the line. The light color can be changed later with object tool. Repeat the step to create in between keyframe. Split each timeline gap halfway will be easier for the adjustment than adjust it by frame order. You can decide how many frames is more matching to your project. More keyframe will make it smoother. I use all 24 frames here. For the end keyframe, if you use Clip Studio Pro version and cannot increase the frame number to put reference endpoint, create keyframe 22 and shift it one frame on the left. Create in between keyframe normally to keyframe 22. Then shift the keyframe back to its frame number. If you left the frame 0, 01 at the end, it will create a bit stop gap on the loop animation. The steam animation is done. Without drawing it repeatedly, it's very easy and time saving. Let's make the animation more fit to the scene. Set the layer blending mode of the animation folder to add glow. It works perfectly with gray color. Copy the animation folder and make free transform. Click on the flip icon in the tool property panel to flip it. And adjust the size and position. This will create more dimension to the stream. You can enable the layer keyframe for animation folder to create extra movement to the stream. Add new keyframe to start and end point of the timeline. Then select on the frame you want and adjust it with object tool. This will auto create the keyframe on the timeline.
put both animation folder into a new folder and set blending mode to true to bypass the mode of animation folder. It still overlap on the cup. Go to the original file of the drawing, right click on the layer, file object, and open file of file object. I have my character drawing separately from the background. Right click on the folder and create a selection from layer. Create a new layer and fill the color. Press Ctrl X to cut the layer. Then pass it to the effect file. Erase the area that is not overlap with the effect. And paint with the soft airbrush on the area that the steam must fade away. Create a selection from the layer and hide it. Then select the effect folder, right click, layer mask, and mask selection. And it's done. I also add the variation of light to make the bonfire effect. Check my own tutorial for more detail. The link is in the video description. I hope my tutorial get you some idea of creating animated effect to your art with dual brush. Stay safe, stay healthy, and enjoy animating.